I have a video that I uploaded to YouTube and I forgot to supply captioning. You can see when you go to settings that under subtitles and closed captioning, I only have English auto-generated captions available. And these are undesirable because there is no punctuation and no capitalization of any proper nouns. So what I'd like to do is get the transcript of this video and make corrections. You can get your transcript by finding the three horizontal dots right below your video and choose open transcript. And once the transcript opens, uh, and it may appear in a different place if your screen is a different size, but you're looking for the transcript, there should be three vertical dots that you can use to toggle the timestamps off. Then from the top, you can click within the box drag and hold down the mouse button until you get to the end, until all the text is selected, and then on a Mac Command C or on Windows Control C, or you can right click and copy this text. You'll want to paste it into a text editor like Notepad on Windows or TextEdit on the Mac. I'm opening TextEdit. When TextEdit opens, uh, I just like to make sure that I am not in the rich text view, which has a ruler and font choices up at the top. I want to be in the plain text view. So you, I get there by format, make plain text. On Notepad on Windows, you're always in plain text, so you don't have to worry about that step. Now I'm pasting in the text, and you can see that there is no capitalization, no punctuation anywhere. Acronyms like MEID are left as they are. Um, so, uh, but, but one good thing about this is the line lengths are um, just about what you want them to be for typical captioning. So what needs to happen is to go through all of these lines and add capital letters and punctuation wherever it's necessary. You may need to play back the video while you're doing this, but this is a lot faster than typing all of this out yourself. So I'll catch you after I've made the corrections. Here I have my corrected transcript where I've gone through and added capital letters, commas, other punctuation, and just generally clean things up. From here, I can use Command A on a Mac, Control A on Windows, to select all the text and copy it. And back in YouTube, I am now able to edit my video. From this screen, I can go to my subtitles and close captions and I can add new subtitles. I will add English. And I guess I want to overwrite the existing ones. It looks like I started a draft and never finished my closed captioning. So since I have a transcript in my paste buffer, I want to choose transcribe and auto sync. It asks me to type what's spoken in the video right here. So I could put my cursor there and paste everything. And I don't need to worry about checking the timings right now. I'll just choose set the timings. Now YouTube's going to take a few moments to set these timings. I'll be back when it's finished. You can often tell just by clicking the refresh button right here. They're still being set. Check back soon. So I'll do that and I'll catch you when they're finished. So it's been about 15 minutes. Let's see how it went. I'll refresh again. And now that the captions are timed, I've taken to the transcribe and set timings page. These are usually pretty good. You can definitely check them and there will probably be a forthcoming video about how to do that. But for now, let's just publish. And when you have a good set of, of uh, captions for English, it's a great idea to unpublish the automatic ones. They come up by default for most people, and they're useless compared to these, so let's just unpublish them. 
unpublish right there. This takes you into editing mode as if you want to do something with it and you can simply delete the draft. Yes, I really want to. And now the only available captions for my video are the correct ones, not automated. So that's how you can quickly take your existing auto-generated captions and turn them into real ones.